Okay, we're live again. I'm just going to show you. Uh, it's late afternoon now, and um, we're back at the nest. And um, it's rather peaceful still, and our little hawk is trying to do the usual, what he does best in the afternoon, and um, is, he's going to make up his way back to the nest. So let's, have, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see where he is. So he's sitting there on a branch. Okay, there we go. Let's just zoom out a little bit. There we are. Hi, hi again. So, let's see if we can get him nice and close. So he's sitting on a lower branch just below the nest. And, and he's not facing us at the moment. He's just facing away. Get this nice and sharp. Just turned around. He's a little bit camera shy. There we go. Okay, he's a little bit camera shy. We just have to wait a bit. <laughs> Hi there. Just wait a little bit till he comes back on. He's, he, is, he is a very smart one. I'll just show you what, what it looks like. So he's, he's just below the nest, as you can see. Just below the nest, okay? That's where he is. Now he's quite a bit below the nest, actually. Sorry, it's, uh, you can't even see the top of the nest. But I'm just going to orientate the camera because I'm looking at a fairly steep angle. Um, the nest is all the way up here, okay? It's all the way up here. Let me, let me just get it back for you. Not easy. Here's the nest. And he's all the way down here on this branch. There he is. Just have to stabilize it. There we go. Let's focus it properly. One second. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah, he's sitting right here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think any eagles have fledged today, have they? Does anyone know? No. No, no, the, uh, the answer, the majority says no. <laughs> so the answer is no. Um, there were some rumors about them fledging, but we haven't seen it. There, there was apparently one out of the nest yesterday. Like, well out ah, of the nest. Well out of the nest. But would one define it as fledging, right? That's what I was wondering <laughs> what you mean by fledging. Yes. <laughs> you, can, you can see the interest here is, is incredible. The majority rules here, yes, absolutely, this is a, this is a democracy here. Um. <laughs> and said one did, yes, I guess maybe it is, it is a question of definition, right? It's very possible. Uh, definitely they are, you know, they're very, very active in the, in the upper branches, very, very active. Hi, Nora. I found you again. Was just on the left branches, but did not fledge. Okay, so Nora has a lot of experience here, so she doesn't think that there was really a fledging. Because um, I know at lunchtime there were some people that said they were fledging, but I don't think that. I think that was another juvenile that fledged, not from this nest. Okay, so the answer is no. No fledging so far. <laughs> no fledging. There you see, just flapping, but no, but no fledging. Okay, <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of discussion here. Oh yes, another ju uh, juvie flew over. Exactly, Nora. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that's where the mix-up came from. 
so there wasn't really Uh, Terry said it was uh, there was fledging. I don't, I'm not sure if this is true. Um, I'm not. I'm not convinced. Okay, but it it, it may it may be so that that um, you know it depends on what what we call fledging. So, um, let me just zoom out again. It's a little bit too much. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the legs of my tripod. So just hang on. It's going to be you're going to get a little bit seasick because I need to just get them a little bit steeper. One second, so that I can read your notes better. So just hang on. I just need to um, do a small adjustment here with the tripod. Put it a little bit higher, otherwise uh, my neck goes very sore. <laughs> and I want to see what you're saying. <laughs> I need to read your comments, so just hang on a bit. Just hang on a bit, please. A bit of patience. Um, I'm just going to zoom out so it doesn't look so you don't get too seasick. Just hang on a little bit. And then um, we'll discuss it. Okay, that's better. That's better. There we go. I'm just doing some adjustments on my. Um, it makes it easier for me to. To swing the camera that's much better here we go that's much better there we go okay so there i've seen there i just saw some comments there so there's a little bit of discussion going on whether this was fledging or not um, but it may have been so but anyway if there was fledging we will we should soon see something some activity that that shows us such and it wouldn't surprise me i mean the date for fledging is very very due so it would make sense. I'm just going to jump back, for those of you who haven't seen it, some beautiful footage that I took earlier, again, of our little hawklets. Okay, so let's jump back. This is the wonderful thing, whilst we wait, I can always jump back through my footage and just show you. This was just about an hour ago, underneath the nest. I got a beautiful picture again of our little, our little friend here. And you could see, this is another angle of the nest, okay? This is another angle. Um, so this is about, um, uh, this is more from the shoreline looking in. And you can see the position of the little hawklet. Um, and that was, it was trying to get back to the nest and then basically uh, flew off again from that position. So I think I even have a video somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, I think it was one of these. Let's see if it was this one. Yes, that was, that was the video, just below. As you can see, it's just below the nest. <laughs> Hi from California. <laughs> My question is, will she be able to feed herself? I have, I have an, hi. Oh, that's beautiful. This is David who took the picture. Very, very nice. Can't you see the look in the baby's eyes? That is beautiful. I just have to show you this. Hang on. We got something really beautiful here. This is, um, so, can you just hold it a second? So this is, this is, uh, yeah, David took a picture here and it's really beautiful. You can see, you can see this is mama or papa. I don't know who this is, but there's a little hawklet and it's so beautiful because look at, look at the, Look at the um, look at the look in the eyes. This is so incredible. What, what a beautiful picture! Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So this is a photographer who's done this incredible piece here. Let's put a little bit of light on, just the angle like that. That's better. Now we can see it very clear. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that absolutely stunning? Absolutely stunning picture. It's. It's great. Who took that? David. David. Okay. Unbelievable, isn't it? That is an absolutely unique, unique picture. Is there one more? Or? Yes. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Oh, that's in flight. Here's our little friend in flight. Let's get some light on it, please. So, let's see. Like that, like that. And then they can see it. Yes. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, you would buy one. Well, maybe we can get on, you can get into contact with David. 
he's if he wants to. Anymore. Sorry? He's not selling. Oh, he's not selling. Okay, he's not interested to sell. Oh, sorry about that. It's not for me to say. <laughs> you can ask him. Yes, yes. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? You can see um, the, the in this. This is exactly what a good photographer will do because you get the full illumination of the of the feathers. Of, you know the the, uh, the primary feathers and the secondary feathers very very nicely to see. So it's a very very good photograph. Let's look at the other one once more. It is really amazing. There, that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look look at this look at this look. I mean, if you, I'm just going to go close so you can see the 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 the, the look look at this. Isn't it incredible? Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Thank you for showing us. Thank you. That's that's absolutely wonderful. Very very nice. But you can see that's that's a that's an incredible community here, and they're taking these these beautiful pictures, and that's what we get here. So if you if you took all, yes, Darlene, I love that picture. Just love the parents. That is incredible, isn't it? And, and um, imagine if we took all the best pictures of all the people here together, what incredible footage we would have. Isn't that incredible? Oh, and there's the call again. There he's calling now. And you know why? Can you see? Look at that. There is an adult coming. And that's where the call's coming from. It's a priceless photo. I completely agree. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So the little one is, of course, um, Let's get right back. Calling at the moment. Because he's just seen Mama or Papa. Let's just see if I can get this a little bit better. One second. What is going on here? Uh, let me, I just have to switch my camera off. One sec. Ah, there we go. Here he is. Sorry, I got him back. That's what I was looking for. There he is. Sorry, I was still showing you the um, my my other footage, but um, I'm going to rather stay live now, <laughs> so you can enjoy this. But there he is. You see, I didn't promise you too much. Here he is. <laughs> That's your video. Yes, I've got beautiful video footage too. For you to enjoy i will post a lot of the videos in the next days when i get back and you can enjoy them on my channel for free uh no uh, is the the question here is is there any chance of the hawklet being banded the answer is very very uh very improbable because the pocket will only be banded if it would be taken into a rescue center otherwise it would not <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I just wanted to say again, thank you so much. I'm. I was completely overwhelmed by all people who were so kind, giving donations to me, and all the support you've given. I'm. I'm. I, I'm. I am really humbled by all that. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. Really, thank you for the support. Hi from Malaysia. The Hocklet is quite a trooper. Yes, he is. He is an absolute trooper. He is. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's looking away now. <laughs> it's funny. As soon as I started streaming, he turned around. Oh wait a second! I just want to get this. Um, I just noticed I have a. Uh, let me see. How can I get rid of that? One second. There's something that shouldn't be on the screen now. At the moment, I have a. Um, you have a grid there, and I'm trying to get rid of the grid. Let me see. Why, why is the grid there? Hmm. Sorry. At the moment, I can't get rid of the grid. Uh, sorry. There was a comment here, Stephen. Let me just hang on, and let me just read the comment again. Okay. I, this is the nice thing. I can scroll back. First of all, is there still talk about the possibility rescuing from eventual? Um, <coughs> Uh, eventually, since it doesn't know the eagle, oh, hang on. Eventually, since it doesn't know he isn't an eagle. Well, we don't know, but I do have earlier footage. Yeah, Mark, I'm going to try and turn off the the grid in a second. I'm having a little bit of issues with that, um, and I don't know why the button isn't reacting to that. 
So one second, I'm going to try and uh, see if I can turn off this, the grid. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's really irritating. There we go. There, there. There the grid's gone. My, okay, got it, got it. Finally found it. It wasn't, sometimes um, it was stuck, but I got, I got rid of the grid. It's this is much better. There we go. There we go. Ah, Susan, you're most welcome. So the, there were a few questions here. There were a few, few questions. Um, what, what we have seen is that today, the videos I took, if you look at my earlier footage, um, the, 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 the hawk that seems to be behaving lower like a hawk because it definitely pulled something out of the grass. I don't know what it was. I have to look at some clear footage later, but it was seemed to be hunting for something. I don't know if it was a rodent or something it pulled out, but that's a good sign. Okay, I'm going to just um, move back a little bit because I need to get back to my battery so that I can have enough power because I think this is going to be a longer stream again. So just bear with me. I'm going to just take off the, um, because my iPhone, my iPhone again is complaining. So I'll just show you the view here of all the photographers. So I'm going to back off and get, um, get uh, further back because we have a much better view there of the nest. But you can see more and more people are coming. It's Friday evening now. So I'm just going to take my camera here on my shoulders and we're going to walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> see everyone's enjoying this. <laughs> There you go. Hi, we're live here. <laughs> so I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, see if I can get my equipment out here again. Hi. So this is a better position, actually. Because, let's see. We are a little bit further away, but um, it, it's a better angle. And I can always pull up my large lens. Yes, you can. I'm just going to get right back now where the eaglet was. Um, let me see, where were we? Jillian is there. Yeah, we just, you should have just, maybe you would have seen her. Uh, I just passed her, in fact. She is there. Yes, Jillian is absolutely there. Yes, she is. Okay, there's our little hawk. This is a much better angle, actually. Let me just focus this. Okay. Will you be able to post videos? Of course I will. Absolutely, I'll be doing that. It's just, uh, this is a much better angle for me. One second. Let me just focus this quickly. Of our eaglets, uh, of our hawklets, sorry. There we go. Why doesn't the parent bring food? They don't bring food directly to the hawklet. They don't do that. They bring food to the nest. And then the hawklet has to come into the nest. They always do that, like that. So I'm just going to keep it here for a moment. I'm just going to get the battery out of the um, out of my car because I need to just uh, make sure. So I'm going to leave you for two minutes. I'm just going to leave it streaming. So I'm not going away. Don't worry. I'm going to leave it streaming now. And um, I'm amazed how many views. Yes, we have a lot of views. I'm the only one making doing this live, and that makes the difference. This I seem to be the only one who has the technology to do this. <laughs> so I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to my car. I have to get my huge battery out to give it some backup. So hang on.
you see them, James? Hmm? Do you see them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're pretty big birds, right? They're not far away. They're almost look as big Sorry. as you. Just that so big one right up there. On the lower branch. Lower branch? Now my battery is getting low. I better do something quickly. All way down there on that. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That should solve the battery problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you for all your kind comments. I really appreciate that. So, um, here we go. Now we're back. Now I've got um, battery power again, so the phone should be fine. So let's just zoom in now and take a look. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Can you see him? No, it's okay. Come and have a look. Come and have a look. There he is. Can you see him? There he is. It's quite far away. He's on the lower branch there. Way down yes, there. way there. See? But in here you can see it better. My. Is that a bird? Yeah, it's Hi, Annette. I really, really appreciate that. Annette, thank you so much for your donation of $25. I so appreciate that. That is going to make it possible for me to come next week and I'll, I'll try and stay two days because that is really amazing. I, I so. Uh, I'm really, really grateful for all the help you're giving me. That makes my life a lot easier and more pleasant. Will you be live streaming from the Fledge? Yes, I will. I will be live streaming from the Fledge Fest. Absolutely. And by the way, I am actually looking for one or two volunteers who can help me in future with my channel to keep out trolls. We do not want trolls in my channel. We have to keep them clean. What I mean is I, I need two people who would like to do that on a voluntary basis and I really you have to like that when I when I broadcast I will give you all the access to to my to my channel so that we can keep trolls out that you can get rid of the trolls and so on because I simply cannot keep up sometimes and I I want to keep this uh, channel clean especially for children so let me know if there's anybody just send me an email zasafoto at gmail.com okay zasafoto at gmail.com and then we can talk and see how we can do that I really appreciate it. So what I mean is when I live stream that somebody looks in parallel and just pays attention to what people say and that we that we block uh, uh, people who should who give inadequate comments. Um, unfortunately we are seeing this and um, I, yeah I, I, yes Karen I think it's a, it's it's a good idea and it's much better to have humans behind this doing there because uh, I don't want a robot or a bot doing this because sometimes you just don't know what what it is okay. So, yes, you can report them. That's right, Pamela, we can report them. But the, the only issue we have with reporting is it doesn't block the person from, from, from um, really spoiling the show. And, and we don't want that. Oh, hi. Totally unacceptable, says, I do help moderate another channel. That is great. Oh, my goodness. Here, Babs, Birds, Bonanza, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for the $15. I so appreciate it. That's wonderful. That's really, really great. That, that's um, so much appreciated. I do hope that, uh, that YouTube remembers all of you because I want to write, send all of those who have been so nice to me and so incredibly thoughtful. Um, really, I want to send you a personal thank you and also a picture of the hawklet. Um, so I just hope that I will be able later to to see um, you know who's been so kind and given donations, whatever the amount may be. But I so appreciate it. I so appreciate it because I want to make this uh, <laughs> you know, make this this uh, possible in future and uh, expand all this. Donate. It's uh, uh, the donations go. There's a dollar button somewhere. Okay. The, the, well, the little hawk, no, it won't grow much, uh, t uh, much bigger because the, um, um, it's, there's a super chat button, okay? There's a super chat button for donations. The, the, the hawklets don't get much bigger than three pounds, okay? Ask Nohomish, yes, yes, yes. 
Chat doll, that's right. Brother Jerry is there again. Hi, Brother Jerry. <laughs> yes, you said it right. That's it. That's it. That the absolute hawk is adult size. And whilst it sits there, let me show you some more beautiful footage, okay? Um, I just wanted to entertain you with a little bit more beautiful footage that I took earlier. So you get an idea. Uh, this was... This was incredibly beautiful. So all taken a few, a few hours ago. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michelle King. And thank you for the beautiful eagle picture there. I appreciate it. That's very kind. And don't worry if it's not available. It's not available. So it's fine. I, I appreciate the intentions too. And that was incredible. So, so this is some of the beautiful footage I was able to take. And there he is. That's our little hawk. <laughs> That's what he looks like. That's our little... <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful picture? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sometimes the um, I press the wrong button and uh, instead of moving back, it's moving into the color uh, histogram, which I don't, which you're obviously not interested in. I'm just going to move back a little bit and give you a little bit more uh, video footage because it's just so beautiful. As you can see, the crows are very aware of him. Okay, let's go back live. Here we are back in the live view. And you see from back here, I can show, give you a much, much better overview of the nest. That's why I pulled back. Thank you again for your kind donations to everyone. I really wanted to just say that. I'm, I'm really grateful. You see, there's the nest. And there you can see um, two eagles there, two eaglets. I don't know where the third one is at the moment. But we may just be able to see later that there's going to be an incredible fight when the hawk, hawk that tries to get back into the nest. I guess that's two of them up there. Yeah, that's two, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but not the parents, right? Yes, and, and on the lowest branch, you can see there's a hawklet on the lowest really? one. Yeah, come, come and look at my video up here. Look at the back. Right here, right here. <laughs> sorry, I'm just talking. So I, I'm, I'm sorry if I missed some comments, but I'm just um, I'm just showing this. So if we zoom in, Under the right thing there he is. There, on the oh, wow. That's him. Sorry, oh, I just wonderful. I just have to um, focus a little bit better and mm -hmm. zoom right in so you can see him. There wow. he is. Wow, and that's the hawk. Yes, that's the hawk. There he is. Really? That's him. <laughs> So I'm just broadcasting live, you have to know, so whatever you say is going to be on there, but oh. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to focus it a little bit better. What an extraordinary job, must have been feeding all of these. Yes. Yes, the parents will be so glad, wouldn't it they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie, for your donations. That is incredible, and your contributions, highly, highly appreciated. That makes that that just makes my life so much easier. Thank you so much. I think you've all been so generous today. I'm 
<laughs> I'm completely yeah, speechless. Fun. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? How often do the parents come? Do you know? Have you oh, the that? parents, yes, they uh, they start off early in the morning, um, around six six thirty, just just after sunrise. And in the morning, it's very, very active because they haven't eaten all night. So the crops are very empty and they come in, in they feed at least one fish per, uh, per, um, per, per eaglet, bird. yeah, per bird. So they have to come in at about four times. And the, 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 the hawklet will get the opportunity uh, after three or four times because uh, his rank is lower now. And he, if he tries to get back into the nest, he's bullied out. It happened twice. Oh, really? And the next time he came in, he quickly picked out the food and he mantled the food and wouldn't let anyone on. So, <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Yes. So he was being a bit assertive. Yes. But how do they catch these things? I haven't, I haven't seen the, the eagles uh, hunting. But oh no, they could. They're very effective. Well, they are. I mean, they're very, they're very, they're very good. I mean, obvi obviously, there's fish, and there's also uh, this is an intertidal zone. Intertidal zones has midshipmen, and they also catch midshipmen. Midshipmen are very good for for eaglets because they're very soft and very easy to digest. Oh really? Yes. A midshipman, <laughs> what, a sort of fish, you mean? Yeah, midshipman fish. It's like the, it's the name of the midshipman. It, it, it gives us this whistle, this very, very um, distinct whistle of the midshipman on the ship. Oh, really? Yes. I see. And they really whistle. They really <laughs> whistle. And there are actually two male midshipmen, and there's one female midshipman. Two male shipmen of, midshipmen of different sizes. Oh, really? Very, very interesting species, yes. <laughs> yes. And they're absolutely <laughs> vital. Uh, they, they, they're absolutely vital for the eagles, actually. Yeah. Mm, really? Yes. In White Rock, where I come from, uh, uh, South Surrey, we see lots of midshipmen. I've got lots of uh, footage with, with eagles catching midshipmen. Yeah. Really? Yes. And why? They're, they're on the surface or close to the no, surface? No, they, in, the, in the intertidal zones, they, they dig themselves into the mud. As the tide goes back, they get stuck there, and then the eagles see them, and they take them out of the, uh, out of the mud. Really? Yes. yes. Gee. And underneath the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. Fascinating. Yes. And um, that happens about one hour before low tide. Okay. <laughs> I see. When is that right now? Oh no! At the <laughs> moment we have high tide, so we have a because the, we've nearly got full moon. So at the moment the tides are not that distinct. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it depends on the position of the moon. So at the moment we have a high tide that's going into high low tide somewhere around 10 to, uh, 10 10 30 p.m. Oh, I see. And then then the proper <laughs> low tide will come tomorrow again, and so on. Because they have very complicated <coughs> tides. Yes. Here, I guess. Yes, they do. They do. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry if I just sometimes. Thank you, Chris. That's very generous with the twenty-five dollars. Highly appreciated. Highly appreciated, really. And I hope I can all send you individual thank you notes um, that YouTube allows this because this is the first time, the first day this is ever happening, and uh, and that is absolutely incredible. It makes me completely speechless, <laughs> and I'm so, of course, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. I so appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Really great. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try and get our hawklet back. <laughs> so I'll just show you the atmosphere here. So that's the nest again. Ah, uh, Chris, sorry, it was Chris, not Steve. You love my broadcast, thank you. Chris, where are you from? I w um, if, if I sometimes don't see all your comments, please excuse it, okay? So very, very kind, very kind from all of you that have donated. Are you going to spend another night? No, I can't because tomorrow I promised that I would broadcast the Fledge Fest. Okay, so I'm back on the ferry tonight. I'm taking the 9 p.m. ferry back. Um, and But don't worry, I've got very good footage and I will uh, post the footage very soon. My plans are that next week I definitely want to come back to the nest and give some more broadcasts. And I'm heading for Australia on Saturday then. And I'll be doing some broadcasts from Australia. So you're going to get a lot of interesting things coming from this channel. We're going to switch to the heavens then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> going to be very, very different. We're going to talk about galaxies and so on. But I think you may you may also enjoy it. It's going to, I'm going to make it exciting. Ah, Battleground Washington. I don't know where that is. In, so that's... Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Is that south of Seattle? I, I wouldn't know. Uh, there we have the ch lots of children here. <laughs> yes! 
David Myers, does he? Okay. Okay, that's great. That's great. Do you think he has any any? Um, would would he sell his photos or? Well, we we are trying to. He's giving them away free, but you know he can't do that. He's giving them away free. My, you know the generosity in this community is just amazing. It's amazing. Hi, all the hippie. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. We're suggesting he doesn't. So. Oh my goodness. I mean, he'd have to sell sell them. I mean, send them all around the world and stuff. Right. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I'll come in a moment. Okay, once, one sec. Anyway, oldie hippie, and thank you. I think it was Pamela. I just have to scroll back. One second. Yes, I've got it here. Oldie hippie, thank you so much for the $20. Pamela, thank you so much for the $25. That is so appreciated. Very, very much. You know, this is such a wonderful community. People are so generous here. And um, let's go and talk to this photographer a second. So I'm going to, I'm going to just unhook um, my battery here. And let's see let's see who this photographer is who made this incredible picture and um, I don't know maybe I we can talk to him <laughs> let's have a look do you know where he is yes he's sitting on the bumper of his car and he's wearing a red jacket okay and he's got a lens and his name is David David Myers okay hang on oh it's him I've talked to him Hi. Christian, I was sharing that beautiful photograph okay. and I've okay. received another one. And this is David Myers. Who David, I've just talked to you. Hi. Hi. David, you made a marvelous photo. People have seen your picture and they're absolutely flabbergasted how beautiful it is. It's absolutely stunning. Stunning. <laughs> you see how modest he is? Very modest, very humble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Speechless. I know he's humble. Anyway, he's anyway, very he, humble. He, he's he's very humble. And here's and he's made he yeah, made this. The yeah, that's the one. That's the one. And then there's the other one. Well, Gail has the other one. Actually, Gail, Gail has the other one. It's Did brilliant. Show you the other one. With the two eagles. Yes, with the two eagles. Yeah, with that, yes. that's unbelievable. Very very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Very very nice. I just wanted to say, Shirley, thank you, Shirley, for the five dollars, and well, thank you for the kind note. I so appreciate it. That is so kind of you, really, really kind. So <laughs> you can see how people are here. They're so modest. He, he he doesn't say anything. I hope I didn't embarrass the poor man, but I just had to show you what people they are. Um, you know, they they take the most amazing images. Be beautiful, beautiful, really. If you haven't seen what his image uh, looks like, I'm just going to put my f iPhone back on the battery now. One second. Let's hang on a second. Um. Yeah, thank you so much for all your kind donations. That is wonderful. There we go. Okay. So we're back. <laughs> New job. Convince photo owners to sell. You know, there are you won't believe it, uh, but but there is a correlation between people who take excellent photographs and the, and their modesty. They 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 want to like this man, and then you get some some. Oh, sorry. Let me just turn off the autofocus. My um, excuse me. One second. I just want to focus this properly so you get this. Yeah. There we go. There. That's fine. Uh, but it's incredible. I don't understand why the parents are not taking food to the hawklet since it's fledged. It, you know, okay, let me explain, let me explain how, 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 um, how nature works, okay, how nature works. What they do is everything goes back to the nest. It is like a central division. It only goes back to the nest and nowhere else, okay. And only we have seen the case where parents have brought uh, food to, um, to the eaglets is only when the nest breaks down, we've seen it there, last year that we had that case so the whole nest collapsed and then they brought the food directly to one branch that we've seen but we've not seen 
um, eagles actually bring food to their, um, you know, you know, directly to their uh, chicks. But there, I did do a YouTube, um, no, sorry, I did do a Periscope video last year, and once they, the, once the eagles fledge properly uh, and go down to the beach, you would see the parents bringing food directly to them, okay, but not in the tree. His name is Stephen Hawkins. <laughs> Do you know that I actually met Stephen Hawkins? I'm not joking, but I have. When I was a student, I was sitting about um, two, three meters, 10 feet away from Stephen Hawkins. Seriously, I was, because I'm a physicist and I was absolutely stunned. <laughs> so, so much for the name Stephen Hawkins. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> it's, uh, by the way, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> His name, yes, here comes Karen. <laughs> Karen doesn't agree with you. <laughs> you all fight it out what his name is. <laughs> now we're going to have a nice argument here. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. This makes it, this is so much fun. This is just so much fun. <laughs> So let's have a look and see what the siblings are doing. <laughs> yes. There's a remark here from Terry about if they fledge too soon, they can't fly back. Absolutely true. And then they often get rescued then. It has, also that has happened. Also that has happened. Pamela, yes. <laughs> the little hawker has a lot more backbone than many humans. Yes. And I'm very glad to see all the inter interaction amongst you. That is very, very nice. <laughs> the little guy rocks, he absolutely rocks. He does. Whilst we wait, let me see if I can show you some more footage because it's so much fun. Uh, let's see what else I have. It's all from today. I'm going to just scroll back as fast as I can through my footage, see what else we have. It's just so beautiful stuff. See what that was. You own a Quaker parrot. You own a Quaker parrot. That's wonderful. <laughs> Sorry, you were in, I just saw a comment there. In Farsi, that's Persian, that's incredible. Oops, what happened there? What's, wait a sec. Um, did my battery, okay, hang on, hang on. I think my battery just died, but not the phone battery, don't worry. Let me just, one second, one second, one second. I have another spare battery in my pocket. Okay, one second. Um, so I'm just going to exchange the battery here. With one hand, it's all one armed here because I have to phone, hold the phone in the other arm. So it's going to be a complex operation here. I have to use my mouth actually, let me see, okay. I put the new battery back in and that should work. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're back. We're back. We're fine. There we go. So our little friend is just sitting down there. 
but he's he's moving a little bit so I'm going to just move down again Christian, suggestion for future live videos, putting an FAQ in the video description. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm just going to read you uh, about when they fledge, why the eagles don't bring food. Yes, 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 yes. You know, uh, Michelle, that is a great comment. I actually thought about this. I'm starting to make a spreadsheet uh, about the differences between hawks and eagles. I know it sounds silly, but there is a lot to be considered and um, because it helps actually and I do agree I completely agree I can do that and I can post that underneath the videos that is a great suggestion yes oh get me an air bed that's nice <laughs> I like that <laughs> very kind of you How long have I been doing this is a question. Okay, they are waking up a little bit. I have actually, um, I gave up a very stressful job a year ago and I started seriously considering to, to, to do a wildlife and astronomy channel, something for, for education that hasn't been done before in this form in January. And um, I've been working a lot on the, on the wildlife. Uh, I've been working mainly together with David Hancock. And um, and on the astronomy side, I've been working a lot with the Australians, actually. So both, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working very hard on both channels and it's uh, evolving very quickly. My YouTube channel actually uh, has been dormant for a long time. It's only, it's only been active for a little bit more than three weeks. And I nearly have over 2000 subscribers. I was completely surprised uh, in, a, in a very pleasant way. Uh, it has completely taken off. And I'm absolutely thrilled because I think this way, the way it's going, uh, I can make this uh, my life. So I'm very, very excited. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> I obviously, you know, I have an absolute passion for, 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 especially for raptors, eagles, of course. In this case, our red-tailed hawk. Uh, of course, I've learned incredibly much from David Hancock and I still do and that's where I get most of my information from and also from the Hancock Wildlife Foundation of course and uh, from the astronomy side because I'm a physicist and also an electrical engineer that's why I know how to make things work <laughs> and I know how to do live broadcasts in a way that haven't been done before thank you do you have another channel yes I do I do astronomy Thank you. Wait one second. Thank you so much. Percy phone 981 for 40 dollars. That is incredibly generous. I so I so admire that. Thank you so much. That is so generous. <laughs> I'm completely humbled. This this helps me a lot. I'll tell you what uh, I'll tell you how it works. My astronomy channel is also under Zasa Photo. I'm keeping everything under one. So both the astronomy is working and I'm going to be in Australia next uh, uh, from from July 17th and I will be doing about two to three astronomy broadcasts. You're going to ex be very interested because I'll be among telescopes. I'll be showing you how telescopes work. I own and own telescope in Australia, how they're remotely controlled. I'm going to show you live views of the Milky Way and so on and so on. Thank you, Terry. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you for the $20. So much appreciated. Thank you. So I do both. I do both with absolute passion. And um, and of course I'll be do if I see live can if I see kangaroos in Australia, which I will, I will broadcast about them. So it'll be a mixture of wildlife and astronomy. Hi. Hi. 
Yeah. I'm Laurie. I live around the corner. Oh, hi, Laurie. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice. Yeah, you're Christian, right? Yes, yeah, I, I am. I was just watching a video tonight. Oh, oh. is that audio? That's one? live. Don't worry. It's live. Yes, I'm. Yeah, I was I'm just watching a video of you and yeah. David oh. over on the oh. mainland last night oh. or the night before. Oh, very nice. Very interesting, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you were right. David said it would fledge within a day or two. And yes, no, David. Time. David was absolutely, was absolutely right. right. No, he was absolutely right. He oh, was. Chris, how are you doing, Chris? Fine. <laughs> I was going to ask a question. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, go ahead, please. Go ahead. Would you? By, I'm Bruce. I live. Here. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Yes. Are you the gentleman that's uh, broadcasting? Early yes. In, early in the morning. Yes, I was. Did I? Did I make too much noise? You did actually. Oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Oh dear. We normally get up, you know, around seven, something like okay. that. Okay. Um, I don't know what time you said. Oh, I'm so sorry. about five thirty. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well. Um, okay. I will. I will step back you from. Find the a different yeah. location, maybe. For yes. The yes, I can, of course. Have no, but I, 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 I'm going back tonight anyway. It was a one-off time. It's okay. nothing. I <laughs> no. Well, I mean, That's I fine. haven't. Uh, yeah. I haven't lodged uh, any kind of concerns over this at No, all. thank you. Okay. Uh, but last night was, uh, was early this morning. Was a bit nice. Too early. Okay. Understood. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay. No, sir. Did you see that one of them has uh, bounced out? Or actually fledged this morning and came yes, back to the ranch? Yes, I was talking to Terry earlier and uh, yeah. he mentioned it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. Let's go there. There we go. Is the baby still down on the lower branch? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> I can only get a steady picture of my camera if I rest it on the fence. Yeah. And I take a couple of pairs going on. I'm sure you do. And then I, uh, I take it up so far before the saw. And I take the saw. Ah, the astronomy. Okay, well, we'll be talking a lot about astronomy very, very soon. Work with two different, well, it's three, three different magnification systems and balancing them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now there's something on the ground there. Is that anything important? Oh, that's my battery. That's my that's my battery. It's okay. uh, that's okay. Well, I don't have anything to fit, so I'll leave them out. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I find that I, I talk around cameras and I don't realize the audio is on, so we're getting broadcast. Okay, I just got a little bit of um uh, um so. You may, excuse me, you may have heard that. There was a, a gentleman who was slightly upset with me this morning <laughs> because I was broadcasting very early. <laughs> and um, my passion may have, uh, may have got into his foundations and um, caused a little bit more to vibrations in his bedroom, which were unpleasant. So I guess um, he's told me, don't do this again. <laughs> okay, that's the way things go. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna to be toast, thank you, Annette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that loud. It must. It must be my enthusiasm. I can't help it. It was an incredible morning, and I don't regret anything. I absolutely don't regret anything. It was. It was probably the best broadcast uh, from from this morning. <laughs> Not the bird lover, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I was on a public road, but um, um, you know, it's so funny. If you're in Brazil, nobody would have noticed this. If you're in Canada and and it's a very very quiet neighborhood, <laughs> then it's, it sounds like an earthquake when I talk. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? It's so, this is so much fun in, in a live broadcast because uh, everything ex is exposed, so you can hear everything. <laughs> Needs to whisper to us. Yes, I'll get a whisper microphone. <laughs> well, the garbage truck makes lots of noise. It does, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mark, someone did. <laughs> well, you know, um, this is just so unique. This is just so unique. Uh, this, this is so unique. 
oh, why do people call me doctor? I have two degrees. I have a, a physics degree and, um, and an electrical engineering. I actually have an um, MSc in, in, uh, in um, physics and a PhD in electrical engineering. And um, it's actually more physics. So it's, it's, a, it's a mixture of both degrees. So I, I, I do have a doctorate, but it's in optics. Okay, so that's, that's why they call me doctor. <laughs> But they don't have to. I don't pay attention much attention to it. It's okay. Here it is. Look at look at our hocket. Here we go. Can you add PayPal? Well, there's another possibility of um, if if. If uh, this donation channel doesn't work, uh, just send me an email, zasafoto at gmail.com. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. You got a beautiful eagle there. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> He's looking straight at us now. Well, you know, you just there was uh, just a comment that someone needs to um, contact the news channels about it. It's funny the um, news interest was there for a bit and now it's completely gone. And um, Hi, it's actually surprising because what what we're seeing here is so incredibly unique. He's standing there like a statue now. How big is the hawklet? Okay. Um, wingspan is about four feet. Um, height, I don't, I don't know approximately. Um, but weight, about two, two pounds, maybe two to three pounds. Yes, you can. Yes. Uh, talk about my email. If you want to email to me, it's just the same. Zasafoto at gmail.com. Just the same one. How much did Spunky get to eat today? This morning he ate a lot and he's posing and now he's very hungry for sure. The issue is now it's high tide and we're only going to have a, 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 a high low tide tonight. So there's not much tidal difference. So I, I believe tomorrow they're going to be incredibly hungry. Did Spunky eat again? Uh, no, he hasn't. Not that I know of. He hasn't. And um, we've been following actually the whole day and it doesn't look like the, um, since about 11 a.m. Um, Pacific time here, I don't think he's eaten again. No, he does not return. The question is, does he return to the nest in his sleep? No, he does not. He, does, he definitely does not because uh, when I came very early this morning, uh, he was definitely not in the nest. He was he was uh, perched somewhere, and then came back. <laughs> do have a, yes, they do. That's there's no stupid question, and there are many questions. If I can't answer them, I'm going to ask my friend David Hancock. But yes. Um, you, if you look at some of my earlier streams, you will see also you see pictures where the um, where the hawk has an incredibly large crop. Here comes Lisa with some dimensions. Here you go, 17.7 to 22 inches, female length 19.7 to 25. So they're about um, you can see they 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 are definitely bigger, about 10% bigger the females. Thank you for that, Lisa. The title of my morning broadcast was something with sunrise, something, something, something with sunrise. Uh, you'll find it. Just look at today's date and the first one on today's date. Carrie, thank you, 
Thank you, Carrie Miller. That is very, very kind of you. That is so appreciated. <laughs> that is, I mean, uh, really, really, really appreciated. Thank you so much, Carrie. That really helps. It really helps. Yes, with email it also works. Um, you can, it, it does work. If you want to use PayPal, it's possible. And it's also possible if you just want to use a check, then send me an email, zasephoto at gmail.com, and I'll give you my address, and then we can go from there. That's fine. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Well, 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 um, Malki is just remarking on the community here, and this is exactly what I wanted to create: is a community where people, all the people in the world who have similar interests for animals, for wildlife, for for science, can get together, and this is exactly what my dream. Thank you, Julie. I saw that. Thank you very much, Julie. That is very kind of you. That is fine. And I will continue that as long as I can walk and live and, and, and use my head and have the physical abilities, I will continue. <laughs> yes, um, there's a question about uh, the Fledge Fest tomorrow. Yes, I definitely will. Totally unacceptable. You are totally unacceptable and you're very, very kindly acceptable. $20. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is totally unacceptable. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Thank you so much. You'll see at the time. I'll see you. Very kind. Let's have a look and look at the community now. Let's see how many people there are. So I'm just going to... just curious. There's so many people here, no? So let's just let's just take a take a walk around and have a look. See what's going on here. There, Lisa's coming with more information. So let's see what's happened here. So you can see how this whole thing has brought the community together. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Now they are uh, much closer to the nest, but the angle is a very, very steep. Um, that's why I'm not going there so close. I don't think that there anything is gained with this steep angle. You got your alarm set. Uh, someone was asking, "Where's Jillian?" Well, there's Jillian. There you go. <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but somebody was. But you're going to. Hi, Bill. Okay, there Is you it go. Bill? I don't know. Uh, who, who anyway, goes. hi, Bill. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, that was, that was, Ma Mark. What, what's her name? Mark a bear. Bear. What's Mark her? Where? Mark a bear. Or oh, I couldn't see. It. Wait a second. I'll tell you who 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 it was. Ah, here. M A. I can't read this properly. B E H R. Bear. Oh. Don't know. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Maybe, <I> do. <laughs> Maybe she does. Maybe she does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can see lots, lots, and lots, and lots of interest here. It's just incredible. We <laughs> have. We have 15 minutes and we have to leave for the ferry. Okay. Got it. What time is it? I don't even have a watch. That's 10 to, right. This is why I don't tell. Yeah, sorry. One second. Okay. Um, listen, please, no, um, absolutely no, um, 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 and no uh, language here, no swearing in my uh, community, please. Uh, this is a warning. Don't do it again. You know, there's and, and don't shout. Don't shout. No capital. It's not necessary to shout here. I'm trying not to shout. And just be polite and considerate for every, to everyone. If, if that is not okay, then please leave the forum. Thank you. Just be respectful. 
That's all. There we go. Could be a VPN app. Okay, I saw that, Mark. I will have a look. Uh, oh, see, see another country location. I see. Okay. Okay. Someone just flew over the tree, is that so? Okay. Where is this? Uh, okay, where is this? Hang on, let me just look at the question again. One second, I'm just going to look at the question. I don't understand where this is exactly, except in Canada. Uh, it is on Vancouver Island, yes. Yes, you, you probably know where Vancouver Island is, just, uh, just off to the west of Vancouver. There's a big island which is about two thirds the size of England, and it's on the south of that. And there's a place, uh, it's called Victoria. That's the, um, that's the capital of British Columbia. And um, uh, the, the, the ferry terminal is very close to Sydney. It's about a 90 minute ferry ride. And that's where the nest is located. In Sydney, Sydney, British Columbia. Ah, you're welcome, Julie. You are welcome. Okay, let's go and see the hawklet again. Okay, here we go. There he is. Okay, I've just blocked someone who is continuing to shout here, so I'm going to continue doing that. Yeah, I want... Hi, Osprey, Mama, thank you so much for writing to me. And yes, I want... I definitely will not miss my ferry, I won't. You can see this. You can see that beautiful. I will slowly have to pack up now, simply because I do. I cannot miss my ferry. Otherwise, I can't go home. <laughs> it's not very funny. And then I can't. I will. You will hear from me again tomorrow. Uh, you'll hear again from me tomorrow. I'll do another live broadcast uh, directly from David Hancock's home from the Fledge Fest, and that is very predictable. I think it's around two to three p.m. Okay, uh, Pacific Standard Time. I'll have a safe trip. Thank you so much. And again, thank you for all your generosity. Um, a big, 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 big thank you to all of you. And, and uh, that was incredibly generous. Um, <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. I can t Hi, Al. See you tomorrow. Very good. Yes, I'll see you there. Uh, thank you for all the kind support, your interest, uh, and your like-mindedness, your care for, your care for nature. And we'll continue this way. Have a wonderful evening, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow afternoon, uh, either at the Fletch Flest or on the live broadcast again. Okay, Lady Hawk, everyone, Captain, Chick, thank you so much, Alice, thank you, everyone, Jackie, and so on, Karen, Michelle, Marta, Melody, Mer. Okay, sometimes I can't. I need glasses because the, the writing is so small here. So Debbie, if I don't see all your all your names, um, no offense. Anyway, take care, my friends. Thank you so much.